Hi everybody, it's Deanne Fitzpatrick from Deanne Fitzpatrick Studio and we're going live today on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, we're going to uh, have a look at this little tiny landscape that I started last week. Judy, Judy Meneer is watching. Welcome Judy. Um, we're going to have a look at this little tiny landscape and the little tree and I'm going to hook around that tree. Abiza Marwar is watching. Thank you Abiza for coming. Um, today and uh, I'm going to show you some of the yarns that I'm going to be using in that um, what's going to be going to be quite fun hello Kathy Barry is watching and then I've got this one hidden because I'm planning a new course for late in the fall and I don't want to show you that yet if we have time um, I'm going to uh, make some changes to this rug here I really like it but I just, there's a little something going on with it that I think could be better. Hakan is watching from Norway. Julie Scarf is watching. Pamela McGowan's Willoughby from Monterey, California. My sister-in-law was, uh, and Mary Kamal was watching with her mom, who's at hospital right now. Hi, Mary. Shelly Richardson from Soggy Bridgewater. Susan Atkinson is watching. So I think it'll be interesting for you guys to uh, play and sort of see if you can figure out what I am going to change in this rug. And the truth is, is I'm when as I change it, I'm not sure that I'm changing the right thing. But you can kind of guess. Maybe you can put in the comments, what do you think I'm going to change in this rug? And I may get to it today or may not. Happy September 2nd from Baden, Ontario. Susan Sutherland, who's been a great supporter of ours, um, is watching. And you are at Thursday Live from HookingRugs.com at Deanne Fitzpatrick Studio in beautiful Amherst, Nova Scotia. And I'm going to pass this over to Angela. There you go. Um, so I'm going to work on this. Um, and I did this guy last week. I got a grab. So Joe gave me a new yarn that he wants me to use today, and it's called Boreal Forest. So I'm going to put some Boreal Forest in this one right now. Isn't that fun that I have one hidden under here? Doesn't that make you feel like... What's she doing? What's that one doing? <laughs> What's she doing under there? Oh, it's looking pretty good. All right, so did my sky last week, did all my outlining. So if you guys want to come in, I'm going to show them what I'm going to do next. And I'm going to use this yarn here, which is silk. Now, we don't have a ton of any of these yarns, but we do have some. And this is a Noro uh, Silk Garden Solo. And I think it's a beautiful, beautiful yarn, but you do have to use two strands at once because it's a light yarn. It's, it's not a heavy yarn. And um, I like it a lot. I like the Noro yarns. They're made in Japan. So I'm going to go in here. I want a really strong contrast in my tree. So I think this yellow, this gold will do it. And I'm going to rehook my tree from the outside. Is anyone commenting on what we think, what they think I might want to change in that big, uh, big rug that's on the wall? Someone's saying outline the roof. Outline the roof. Hmm. Someone is saying uh, the top window needs something. Right. They're in the right area. We've got someone who said to the right of the tree. Oh, well, I wasn't going over there, but I might reassess that too. So that's it with a rug sometimes. I like, so that rug has been, I think I hung it a couple weeks ago. We did a little video. I don't know if we've posted it yet, have we, Angela, about hanging the rug? I don't think we've posted that I don't video. Think so. so I think, um, I think I'm going to play with the outline color on the house. I'm not really sure about that. But for now, let's go back to this rug and just sort of figure out how the tree is shaping up. Okay, who's got to go buy their groceries today in the rain? <laughs> I got to go because I'm out of olive oil. So we can't live without olive oil in our house. My husband is Lebanese and we go through a lot of olive oil. Anybody else going to get their groceries today? Getting uh, September off to a good start.
what's the thing in your house that you guys like you can't make anything without so if you're out of that okay terry if you're out of that <laughs> you can't cook what about you Ange? i know chicken in your house okay. i'm sorry <laughs> 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 but everybody else, is there something in your house? Mm -hmm. So give us a, like, I know that I, I'm, like, I have two things. I got to have yogurt. Well, I have three, actually, if you count. I have you got to have yogurt, and I've got to have olive oil. Mm -hmm. But there is a third thing, which is those little tiny white Reese's peanut butter cups. <laughs> 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 so I will go to the grocery store for those. <laughs> um, what's the thing in your house, Terry? In my house. What would be the thing that you can't really cook anything without? I'm you can't. Say milk. Milk. We go through a lot of milk. A lot of milk. Terry, do you drink a lot of milk? I do. You do, and Larry too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Lorna's not here today. She she went home. Oh, well, somebody said avocado oil. Avocado oil. I don't even know what it tastes like. What's it taste like? I wonder. I don't know anything about that. Avocado oil. Anybody else? What is the thing that you can't live without in your, like, pantry, your cupboard? Velma's after my own heart. She's saying coffee cream. <laughs> oh, good enough, Velma. Do you drink cream in your coffee, Angela? Actually, I drink milk. But... Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. It's an important thing. There's a question here about the hooking. Yes? How do you hook with such detail? Mine looks like blobs. No, oh, well, Paula, with Paula, one of the things that I do is I use different weights of yarn. So when you use a smaller, finer yarn, it just looks like there's a bit more detail. So that's one of the ways that I do it. Now I'm going to show you the water. So this was the Solo Light. If you're interested, a lot of people ask us about the yarns. This is the Noro Solo Light yarn. And we have probably five skeins left of it. Now I'm going to use some of this yarn which is, what is it? It's Malabrigio Azul Profundo. I love that name, Profundo. I don't even know what it means, but Profundo, it sounds profoundo. Okay, so that's, this is what I'm gonna use next. And I'm gonna use this in my water. I love, I love these yarns. They are expensive. They're 39 or 49.95, but they go a long way. They last a long time. And if you have a hooker nearby you, uh, it might be a good idea to share them if you wanted to. But they fill the areas up so nicely and they're so beautiful. And they have a sheen that I can't get with any other yarn. So I persist in using these because I, I love, I love what they do. And I love what it's doing to the peak of my tree right now. And this is Tiny Landscapes. I'm, I'm making a Tiny Landscape because... You have until September 14th to save $50 if you're planning on taking Tiny Landscape. If you already have taken it, I need another strand of that. If you've already taken it last year, then the content is the same, but the course, of course, remains open for you, and you're welcome to participate in our Facebook group as of September 14th when the course begins again. So I hope that those of you who haven't taken it will look at taking the course and then making a bunch of small, now I'm going in to outline my tree again. See, you go in there, get the shape of your tree in. I hope you'll take it again. Um, you'll, uh, and make some, I hope you'll take it if you haven't taken it already and take it again if you already have and that you will take the time to make some of these small little rugs for Christmas gifts this year. And, I'm just excited to see what this one looks like because I, you know, I like the sky in this, but I got to say it's not one of the favorite skies I've ever made. So now I'm going to add a new blue yarn and it's our, our navy boucle, uh, which is our uh, a yarn. We have several different boucles out there. And I like boucle because see how we used it in the sky too. It has this nubbly, nubbly texture. Another texture you can't get any other way, but with the boo. Boo. Okay. Do we have lots of people watching today, Ange? We do. It's a rainy day. Mm -hmm. So the next yarn that I'm going to use is this, and it's a slubby mix. And this one, I believe, is called Marine. 
and uh, it's just a, a good dark thick and thin so that's our slubby yarn that's what I'm going to use next all right I'm going to bring the slubby in here and I'm going to use the slubby to fill in the rest of the water and you'll see that it goes thin and thick so just watch now we're going thick and thin thin thicker thicker thick and I love that I love that it adds like it adds such dimension and fluff so it is a yarn that I use a lot of, and I really like it. And it's hand dyed by the fleece artist in Nova Scotia. It's a really, and, and I work with um, their mother before them. When I first started, it was their mother who owned the company. And now it's the, da two, now it's the daughter, and I love that. Um, I don't have enough of that thought I had more. Just one second. I'm going to check on that. I thought I had a bundle of that. I do not, apparently. Terry's looking around, and I do not see a bundle of it. So, let's change our plans a little and go back to this one. We just got enough of this one, and I'll bring that in. So, this is the Profundo, which is the Rasta yarn. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing. It's not what I won't, not what I planned. But you know, this is rug hooking has a tradition of using uh, up what you have and not not getting worked up if you don't have exactly the right thing. So that's what we're gonna do. Isn't this craft amazing? Like it's just. It is. it is, isn't it? it is. I know, it's so and amazing. A little bit of time created all that color. And color. This is Boreal Forest. This is the one Joe wants me to show you today. So we just dyed this, and it's on the website, Boreal Forest, and it's one of our studio dyed. I believe Greg dyed it. And I'm going to take this up. Greg isn't in today. His brother is visiting. He's usually around on Thursdays to make a little commentary, but his brother is visiting. He is heavy on the commentary. Hey, Greg, are you watching? Good. <laughs> yeah. I hear him and Angela discussing things over lunch sometimes, and I think, ooh, that's <laughs> so serious. <laughs> I'm thinking about blue or green. <laughs> <laughs> and they are talking about all kinds of important things. All right, so this is Boreal Forest, and I'm going to bring this right down here. Let's see this. So... Even though I've outlined this, I'm going to use it in two places. I'm going to take it and I'm going to bring it. And see, so you bring it down right down in there. So that's kind of your blending. And then I'm going to use it down here again, too. There's my boreal forest. A friend was visiting on the weekend. And he was telling me about a place that he goes and visits. And he said, it's S.H.I.E.L.D., Canadian S.H.I.E.L.D., which I think is really understood by people from Ontario, because that's where they live. And But we don't really know that landscape here in the same way in Nova no. Scotia, do we? we? And so he showed me pictures of it so I could see it. And it was really interesting. But it's a whole, it's a whole new thing to us. We are more Southern, I guess. So I'm going to bring that over here so you can see that I'm bringing those two colors together. Now I'm going to add a new yarn, and it's a yarn that I really like. So it's from Lichen and Lace, and we carry Lichen and Lace yarns. And Megan, who owns Lichen and Lace, used to work with me, and uh, she worked with me for about two and a half years. And I still carry her yarn. She she. Uh, decided to go work for herself and she created a business dyeing yarn and this yarn is called I feel so good today because I'm right organized usually I'm on the fly and I never know what anything is called this is called evergreen and it's 80 20 bulky it's 80% uh, superwash merino and I'm going to take this gorgeous yarn and I'm going to hook my island back here let's get in here and hook that island right to the edge I'm going to go right up. You go right up into where it was outlined. And because this color is 
dyed in such a way that it goes from a medium green to a light green. I don't have to do anything. I'm just filling in. Then I'm going to take that rest of that green Fill it in right here. Oh, I lost my scissors again. Excuse me. Got to pick those up. They're slipping off on me. And the frame I'm using is a laptop willow frame. It's a gripper frame, just so you can see. That just goes on and off. Uh, the ones that we have now have their, uh, the woods a little fancier, a little darker. And we are going to go in here and just add some green to this green here. Bring it right up to the edge. Got another piece that I had there. I'm going to take that down on the other side of it. Will you be mine? Wool, you be mine. Yeah. Says, I love the lichen and lace yarns. They're just beautiful. They are. They are really, really beautiful yarns. We have a nice selection on our website. Now I'm going to go back to the Boreal Forest because it too is dyed in the same way. So there's a lot less work when you use yarns like this. And I'm going to go over here and I'm just going to go down and do the corner of my tiny landscape. And I said to Angela, we've sold a lot of the tiny landscapes that I make. And we are, we are in need of some for the studio. So that's just some yarns that I'm going to be using. Now I think what I need to do is I need to go to my stash and I need to find something else that I can use to finish off some of this rug and then I think I'm going to leave this even though I could easily finish this in the time we have I think I'm going to leave this and we can finish it up next week and talk about what yarns we're going to put in here so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to go to my stash and see so the yarns we use today Noro uh Slubby Mix Lichen and Lace Evergreen Slubby Mix Marine Noro uh the gold in the Noro and um Azul Profundo in the Malabrigio Rasta. So this is it, and this is what we've made so far. And I'm going to add some more color in here for sure. Deanne, are you hooking that foreground higher? No, I'm not. It looks like it, but it isn't. It's just that it's closer. It appears closer, I think, but that's, okay. that's it. I am not. I've got to get this blue that we used. This was our, we used this blue last week, the Boo Boo Clay. Right. So I'm just going to finish that and bring it up right there. Okay, and I have one strand of that left over, so I'm going to put that in my messy bits bin. And um, Joe wanted me to show you his tomatoes. So here they are, and these are called sunshine tomatoes. And he said, and Angela said, that they work perfectly with the yarns from our color school. So this is the gold from our color school yarns, which we can get. They're the, called the crayon box yarns. This is the orange. And this is the red. So if you're thinking of doing some fall projects, this is it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these tomatoes. I'm going to let them ripen. But what Joe and them told me to do, Joe and Harry, said cut the tomatoes up, put them with garlic, and bake them in the oven. And then you get a really nice tomato sauce. And I just had chili for lunch that I made a tomato sauce with. And it was beautiful. Instead of boiling them and having to deal with the skins and everything, it works, Terry. Oh. Honest to God, Terry's giving me the eyes. Well, Terry I... has very expressive eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking up recipes for tomato sauce on the weekend. And yeah. Now, yeah, I, a lot harder than that. I did mine at 4. I put them in for an hour at 4.20. And so I, and I chopped an onion in mine too. I put them in for an hour at 420 and I had a nice tomato sauce and then I just used it in a few days. And then you can take that and throw it in the freezer if you want, but it is a great way of dealing with tomatoes. So that's our story for today is the tomato sauce. Now, what time is it? Do we have time to have a go at that? Wicked Hooker wants huh? to know if your, if your ring is a moonstone. Oh, it's Paula. Paula? If my ring is a moonstone? No, it's an antique button of an owl. And it had nice little owl eyes, but it fell out. Oh, we should show them our jewelry. 
Yeah. Angela. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did yeah. you see my necklace? We loved the charm bracelet with Create Beauty Every Day. So we made a chunky necklace of Create Beauty Every Day. You guys are probably showing all the flaws in my neck, but that's okay. I don't care. You can see them. I'm full of flaws. No one's, everyone's looking at the necklace. Nobody's yeah. looking at your neck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I this, love it. I, I love, love it. it. Angela's wearing hers now, yep. too. You, love you, it. Yeah. I'm going to show them yours, Angela. Oh. Can I just turn around? <laughs> Angela's wearing hers. Whoa, here I go. I'll turn around. There we go. Isn't that sweet? Create beauty every day in a little tiny hook. I just love, I just love it. And it's really mine. comfy too. And it's chunky. Like it's yeah. big. I'm a I'm a chunky jewelry kind of person. Chunky. And chunky. Terry has her bracelet on. Too. Yeah. Yes. Um, so we are all create beauty every day. Like that's just a nice reminder to okay, today I gotta do something. How much time do we have left, Angela? I forgot my watch today. I feel naked. Oh, I don't okay. know what time it is. I don't know what time it is either. So this is the Create Beauty Everyday necklace. It has the same clasp and I love it because you can wear the clasp in the front with with your um charms. your little charms create beauty every day all right uh i have no idea i'll check the time and then we'll see if we have enough time to have a look oh 221 we've got barrels of time i always feel <laughs> at 221 we are just so boom boom well maybe i should just leave it up and test it first so the thing that's bugging me about this rug is the outline color of the window and the house. I'm just not contented with it. And, um, okay, this is a sneak peek. You can't get this yarn yet, okay? Don't go looking for it. <laughs> this is not available. But it is part of a very special collection that we're going to do later in the fall. It's a secret. It's a secret. It's, Between you and me. It's the secret sauce <laughs> for another class that we're going to be doing. But... I feel like it would this rug would be so much better with this color in it. What's your hook? I got my hook. Oh, yeah. I might need a pair of scissors, but I think I'm okay for now. So I just want to see. So you can just even change the rug right on the wall, right? <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> this is my frame. But I feel like I feel like not satisfied with this rug and I like I love it. I think I, I love the theme and the idea because it's all about, you know, being in the middle, which we're going to talk more about as the year goes on. But I just feel like it would be a real standout. Does it does make a difference. Okay. Yeah. What do you think, Ange? Oh, yeah. You're Very nice. That? Yeah. You're feeling that? Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. So we all make we all make choices when we make rugs. And those choices um those choices sometimes have to be lived with for a while to know if they're the right choice or not. And I lived with this one for a couple of weeks. And now I'm going to change my choice. It's pouring rain here today, you guys. It's really pouring. It's like not the kind of pouring that you can like run to the car either. You need your coat to run to the car. Got to find my scissors. Okay, here they are. I hope our friends in the States are okay with all the rain and flooding. I hope so too. I know it's a concern. We heard, we heard a lot of worries in New York. Uh, I heard them over the lunch hour. People were talking about them. Yeah. Everybody stay safe, be careful. And even like today, I think driving in the rain is a big thing. But when I was driving in, I was out at the beach. And when I was driving in, I drove 75. Where I normally would drive, drive 95 or 90, I drove 75. Like when you're in the rain, you have to drive more slow. And don't use your cruise. Oh, really? Don't yeah. use your cruise. Use I didn't know that. Rain. No, just just keep your keep your wits about you because it is a different kind of driving. You gotta be really careful. So I'm so thankful that you watch and that you share these videos. Um, we really appreciate it. This sharing that you do really makes a difference to how many people learn about rug hooking. And you know, I, I don't know. I tell you every week I'm grateful. And maybe, I just hope you believe me. 
because I mean it. I, I do. I'm so grateful to have this craft that I can turn to. That Maybe I'll leave the light. Let's see how that goes. Oh, Greg's here. Hi, Greg. Oh, Greg's here. Did he hear us talking about him? Or? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We were talking about you, Greg. You're going to have to watch the rerun. I'm going to maybe leave that really light right there. Somebody said love the green. Uh, so who is that? Nan Pop Finn. Whoever. Okay. I never would have thought of, to use green. No. Well, you know why I know to use green, Nan? Look, I'm taking out the sky by mistake. Um, is because that's a very traditional Newfoundland combination on houses. Healy store where I grew up was this color exactly. That that soft yellow. It was all, all also the color of all the dories in the neighborhood, all the dory boats. It's a combination that I know from my experience, I guess. And Wicked Hooker said California is burning. Oh, I oh. heard that too. I know. Yeah. I know. And Lucy. My sister-in-law lives in California, yeah. so I've been kept up to date on that one. That's my son in Rhode Island near the shore said it's not as bad as the media portrays. I don't know what to think out here in Portland, Oregon, where I'm worried about everybody. Yeah, it's hard. I know. It's and I think thoughts. we do have a lot of worries on our mind, and that's why it's good to go to our craft Definitely. and sort things out and sort through things and, and, you know, time to meditate and, for me, time to pray and to think. I know that's an uh, important time spent that there are a lot of a lot of things happening in the world but our job here right here and now for us and for me is to try to bring as much beauty to the world as we can and uh and it's of course it's not the only thing but that is what we are trying to do as we make and now the question is is do i leave that line of pale yellow that was my question that was my worry and as i go with the green and my decision is this <laughs> okay this is it no line of pale yellow it's been bad to me and i'm gonna get rid of it there we go so we are thinking of people as they are struggling and we know we know that some people don't have the luxury to do this today and our prayers and our hopes are with them for sure Okay. So, yeah, isn't that good? Oh, that's so much better. Okay, so I'm going to work on this over the week, and then next week you can come back and see and remember the things we talked about today. Driving in the rain, just be careful. It's dangerous, and there's flooding in places, so just be careful what you're coming up to. And uh, we... Uh, are thinking about those of you who are struggling with smoke and and uh, you know going into your neighborhood and and uh, we have you in our hearts and our minds and I'll say my prayers for you too and thank you for watching today and know that when you make beauty when you create beauty that you are doing something I think this is important that that is an important part art and beauty they're soulful and they sustain us and they are important parts of life so that's, that's my job, is to bring that forth. And thank you for sharing this video, and thank you for your time and for your attention, because it's valuable, and I appreciate it. I really do. Now I've got this little job i got to do. See you later. God bless everybody.